Hi, my name is Carter Krieger, and today I will be telling you about my project proposal for the computational perception class. My project is for a floor mapping robot. So first we'll start off with some of the goals for my project. So the goal, main goals are being to design and program an autonomous robot to explore the hallways on its own. And this will be done using measuring distance data from a LiDAR sensor as well as detecting people and obstacles with the camera. And this will be used to avoid the obstacles and be able to navigate the surroundings on its own. And it'll be combining the data from these two systems of the LiDAR and camera to overall produce a two-dimensional floor plan as the output from the data collection. The target usage for this will be that it can be used in any hallway or building with measuring the surroundings and it will produce the floor plan accurately and this uh, provides a benefit as there's no need for using tape measures and the robot works on its own to complete the task so it is therefore saving time. Now talking about some of the previous approaches that have been done these three papers are all similar to this robot's goal but none of them combine all the same aspects together the first one being an autonomous navigation system of mobile robot using a laser scanner for corridor environment. This was done where they used a mobile robot uh, using laser sensors primarily to avoid walls and obstacles to move through the surroundings successfully on its own. Uh, another paper being mobile robot mapping in populated environments. and. This was done where they wanted, they said don't assume that the environment is static during the data acquisition as there could be people or obstacles moving around throughout. And so their focus was to detect the non-static elements and remove them from the map points. And so they generated both accurate 2D and 3D maps around the robot. And the third paper being detecting and modeling doors with mobile robots. And this was sort of similar done at Stanford University where they captured the shape, color, and motion properties of the doors and wall objects. And they learned about these properties using a laser rangefinder and an omnidirectional camera. So for my project, the equipment I plan to use is the two-dimensional LiDAR distance sensor and a color camera and a laptop will be used for processing as this is a good mobile approach that could still fit on the robot while packing in enough processing power. The hardware will ride on a mobile drive base, which is made up of a frame connected to motors and encoders for positioning. And these motors and sensors will communicate to the laptop over USB interface. Additionally, there will be an IMU with a gyro and accelerometer for measuring the current heading and such like that. You can see here that the laser LiDAR sensor is detecting 360 degree field of distances as well as the camera looking forward. Here is the LiDAR I'll be using which is the SlamTech RP LiDAR A1 which is able to measure 360 degrees around it with up to 20 meter range and up to 8,000 samples per second. This has one degree of accuracy so we we'll have roughly 360 distances measured around it coming in at a fast rate uh, uh, as fast as needed and this will be communicating to the laptop over USB serial connection. As for the algorithms and data structures there will be a pathfinding algorithm to work around the obstacles as it detects them and I'll make use of a motion profiling library to generate the paths to follow for each wheel so that it can accurately accurately avoid the paths. Then there will be a map to keep track of which areas in the hallway have been branched down and explored already so that it can return to these later to build the full map. As for detecting the obstacles, I plan to use either a hard cascade, hog plus linear SVM, or a pre-chained neural network or similar to detect the people and known obstacles with the camera. And this can then be used to help the laser uh, filter out which things are not walls and which things are people so that these can be modified. You can see an example here of using the hog plus linear SVM method 
compared to a neural network done by Intel. Here you can see where a person was detected with the camera system and then it uh, worked to filter out that distance measurement. So these distances will be placed into the map data structure based on the location of the robot within the hallway sensed by the camera and encoders. And then the map distances will be averaged as the robot moves around and collects the additional measurements to similar locations. So it has multiple perspectives on each angle. And as for the evaluation methodology and testing, the robot will be tested in several buildings and environments, and then we'll compare the real floor plan measurements from the ISU website to the ones produced by the robot and tape measure if needed. Then the success will be defined as the robot navigating the hallways and completing a map of the surroundings on its own successfully. If the robot does not successfully navigate through the hallway at first, I plan to try other methods using the LiDAR to detect and avoid the obstacles. Thank you for listening.